Alright, so I wanted to open this video up by saying Happy New Year, guys. Hope everybody had a safe and good holidays, um, whether it was Christmas or whatever else you might be celebrating. Um, like I said, hope you all and really enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've been on here, um, which is kind of why I'm bringing this update right now. I talk with my hands a lot, too, I know, I'm sorry. And I also get distracted a lot, that's the other thing. Um, but I wanted to come up and give you a little bit of an update idea of sort of how the Christmas cutting series went and about how that kind of got away from me. Uh, and a lot of other things, um, but first things first, I guess, just explain sort of what happened. Um, started out really strong in the Christmas cutting first, like, 14 days or so, two weeks, were really, really good, uh, and then towards the end of Christmas, um, I got just, like, as soon as exams were done, I got hammered with work and family and, you know, everybody was done of exams, so... Uh, me and my friends, we were going out doing stuff, and, you know, the next thing you know, it was Christmas Day and Christmas dinner, and basically, the first two weeks were, were good with the, uh, the Christmas cutting, the final two weeks were not, and kind of fell apart on me there, which, I'm not happy it happened this way, but it goes back to, to sort of hit home my previous points, is that fitness is a marathon, it's not a race, and, you know, although... You know, I'd set out and I'd wanted to go on a, a mini diet. I wasn't too concerned with it because, you know, my, I think there's no real reason for it. It was just kind of something to test, you know, test the waters and see how I would do. And with that, you know, that it didn't work out the way I would, but or the day the way I wanted it to. But at the end of the day, it's still fine. I'm no worse off than where I was four weeks ago. You know, and now it's just time to sort of get back into the gym of the new year and, you know, go out and, and start crushing my fitness goals for this, uh, for this new year, uh, for 2019. So, you know, with that said, didn't work out the way. I think I'm, I, last time I checked, stayed about the same weight. Um, maybe I lost a little bit of body fat, maybe I lost a little bit of muscle. At the end of the day, it, it all balances out in the end. So, with that being said, that's sort of the update on the whole Christmas cutting series. Um, it didn't work out, like I said, it didn't go the way that I wanted it to, but it, it is, you know, it's one of those things that it happened the way it happened. There's not much you can do about it now, and now what you need to, to do is just sort of move on uh, and give everything you have to your next, um, to the next, uh, the next thing you're going to do, which... Uh, if you couldn't tell by some of the golf stuff I have set up over here, is I figured it'd be a fun way, especially with, you know, we're we're starting to, I don't want to say get into, but we're getting closer and closer now to the start of the next golf season. So I thought it would be sort of a fun way to, uh, to oh, you know, to to start 2019 off with a uh, what's in the bag. So I got my golf clubs over here, um, and we're gonna do uh, we'll do a little bit of a, a what's in the bag. Uh, for end of 2018, clubs I played with this season, and start of 2019. So, I wasn't even going to mention this, but I think my last video I was wearing this hat, it's not that I don't have, like, you know, I still, I haven't got bald. Um, that's not great here there, but as you, you can see, is why I wear the hat. Um, but I, I know I wear this hat a lot, but I figured since we're doing a, uh, a what's in the bag golf, um, video that it would it would be kind of uh, kind of fitting to wear the uh, the cabin stuff, you know. So I got some uh, I got some golf stuff over here, um, you know, some pro some pro bees, some one of the Tiger Woods balls. It's not going to focus. It's walked in on my face. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got some golf stuff over here. Um, and before I jump in and do any more, I want to point this out. This was, uh, this over here, I'm gonna actually, I'm going to do something I normally never would do. Um, I don't even know how the best way to do it. Alright. Uh, I don't want to actually mess anything up since I'm recording audio through the camera right now, and I don't want to touch anything for the fear of destroying the audio for the camera. But this here, I'll give you a closer look for it look and view it in a second, but this was a Christmas gift I got, and somebody actually painted this for me. Now, I can't draw a stick man, so I'm impressed by everything, but this is, like, phenomenal. I absolutely love it. It's 
by far one of the favorite, my, like my favorite gifts I've ever got. The fact, you know, that somebody was able to paint that. And it's golf. So I figured, you know, may as well include it in this video here. But this isn't, you know, I got a Cabot hat, but this isn't really golf attire. So I'm going to go change. I'm going to get in some golf attire. And then we're going to do a wee. End of the season 2018, beginning of season 2019, what's in the bag. We'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, so all changed up here, as you can see. I'm still re representing the Cabot stuff because all, apparently all the clothing that I own is Cabot. Um, but let's jump right in now to the, uh, the what's in the bag. And we may as well start off with the big stick. So as you can see, this is the, uh, this is the Nike Vapor Speed um, driver here. It's, uh, there's a lot of adjustability for this here, so it's adjustable loft. I currently have it set in a uh, nine and a half degree um, width, and it also, you can, uh, you can set it as neutral or a left or right uh, preference on that. Um, this is in a stiff flex in a Dynama 60 degree, or 60. This is what happens when you film stuff late at night. 60 gram shaft. Um, I really like this. It's, it is really bold with that photo blue finish on it. And with that too, it also has a really, really high pitch sound, which some people like, some people don't. I don't have much success with that. It stays in my bag for a lot of the season, or stays out of my bag for a lot of the season. Which brings me to the next one, which is, this is my three wood. Um, same thing. This is the Nike Vapor Speed. Um, this, this here, I would say, is my go-to club off the tee. Um, I'm trying to get it to focus on that there. It seems to like to f my ca I'm, I'm still trying to figure some stuff out with the camera, but it seems to like to take the stuff out of the background before the uh, the foreground. Um, but I'll try to I'll try and include some um, some like uh, some some video showing these off a little bit. Same thing, same shaft. This is a 70 degree shaft actually. Uh, all all of these have golf pride grips, with the exception of this one, which has the Nike uh, the, the driver, which has the Nike. Um, this here, this is like my, this is pretty much my go-to club off the tee. Um, I get good distance with it and I also have really good feel and control with it. So when I'm, you know, on a, when I'm on a, a par four that you need to make sure that you, it's, uh, it's right, you know, in a certain spot in the fairway. Um, I even hit this off most par fives just because I like the control and I like being able to play out of the fairway with it. So that's my three wood. Um, following suit with that, I have the Vapor Speed Hybrid. Um, same thing. This uh, it's a really really good club. Uh, I use this to get me out of a lot of situations. It's you know I both of these both the three wood and the the hybrid here. I both really really enjoy. They really really um, they're really really fun for me to hit, and I I get really good feeling. Um, out of them uh, in response and nine times out of ten they go where I want them to go. Now I also started towards the end of last season I don't really have a chair over in this corner <laughs> since I don't have anywhere to put it right now um, but I'll, I started towards the end of the season uh, messing around with this. This is a uh, um, I think this is the V Pro uh, this is Nike 2 Iron. Um, they came out with this, actually I don't even know, but I started messing around with this just because it was something that I was trying to work on swing, uh, on my swing towards the end of the season too, and this was a, it was one of those clubs that, that was forcing me to swing in the way that I needed to. So I started putting that in my bag towards the end of the season. So the irons, I don't know if you're seeing a trend here. <laughs> The irons are the Nike, um, these are the, the Vapor Speeds, uh, these are the Pro Combo, uh, is what we have on here. Um, these, uh, they're a forged iron, um, I like the design of them, um, I liked the, uh, 
I actually liked the, the vapor uh, fly irons. The, these are the 2015 ones, the 2016 ones I think I liked a little bit more just because like I said I'm a huge fan of that photo blue. Um, finish for it. I really like these, they're good clubs, um, but they're a little bit old now. And I think it's, and none of these are actually fitted for me, they're all, uh, these are secondhand sets, so I, I'd like to go and pick up a sort of a set of clubs that I know is specifically for me. So those are my irons. Wedges. Um, wedges are actually uh, something I really need to look at because I carried around a 54 and a 58 degree wedge in the, uh, the Nike V-Pro. Um, these are the high frequency, the, the hex um, wedges here. Uh, the 58 is in a 10 bounce and the 54 is in a 12. Um, both of these, like, you know, they're both, uh, they're, you know, I, I have really good feel and I, you know, I hit well with them, but it's something that I'm going to look at when I get my clubs fitted is I'm going to look at the gapping on them. Um, but those are, uh, I only have two wedges and then, you know, obviously my pitching wedge here. Next, this is, this club is actually really, really special to me. Um, this is the Nike Method Converge putter. Um, this one, it's a really, really cool putter. Um, and it's special to me because this is actually the first golf club that I've ever bought for myself. Like I said before, all of these are, all the other clubs you see here are hand-me-downs. They were, you know, somebody else got them, got fitted for them, got their specifications and, and everything for those clubs. These ones here, they are, this is, or this putter is mine. And this was the first putter that I actually, or the first golf club that I actually bought with my own money. Um, I picked this up when it was on sale after Nike got out of making, uh, um, making the, the hard or got out of the hard good side of golf. Um, it's uh, it's got the oversized grip on it. It's actually got a counterbalanced weight at the top, and I don't know. I just I really like this. It, it feels good when I when I'm using it. I putt well with it, and you know, like I said, it also is a little special because it is the the first club I actually purchased for myself. Um, Grab this off my bag. Something I don't miss out on the, or something I don't leave at home when I'm out on the course. I have my Bushnell rangefinder here. This is the V4. This is actually the slope edition. So um, this gives you not only your distance, uh, but it also gives you your slope too, um, and your corrections for the, the slope, which is uh, a rather nice touch. Um, and that, uh, that pretty much takes me to the end. I didn't actually prepare one, so I'm going to grab quickly. Just reach into my bag. And of course, the only one that I have in my bag is, <laughs> is a little bit uh, dirty. But sort of the, the two balls that I play, um, I play the AVX when I'm up at the course. Um, I'm going to try and... Get it to zoom in on that there, focus or focus in on that there. This is the uh, there we go. <laughs> this is the AVX. This is the the new Titleist uh, AVX ball that they have, and this is the the one that I'm using if I really wanted to put a <laughs> like to to play a good round. Most of the time, if I'm just going out for fun, like by myself or something, I'll use just one of the old pro like not old, but you know I'll use one of these. Realistically, it makes no difference to me. I'm not that good of a golfer, so the 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 saying like, "Oh, I'm gonna play an AVX or I'm gonna play a practice pro V or whatever," it uh, it doesn't matter. They all go in the woods the exact same for me. Now, this is what I'm looking to add to the bag this year. And if you watch the other video, this shouldn't be a surprise, but. Here is the Callaway Rogue. Now, I really like this driver. I like the look. I like the technology. Um, I haven't, 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 haven't had, had a chance to hit it yet. Hopefully, I can go and hit some balls tomorrow, um, pending a, a snowstorm. Um, if that doesn't, you know, in, uh, interfere with things. But I like, I love the look and everything in this. So, with that. 
I'm going to hit this and then we will see sort of how then we can and sort of then I'm going to sort of take a look and see about adding it to my bag. I'm also taking with me the Callaway Apex iron, 7 iron here that I have because I want to try hitting this and I really like these. My only complaint is and the only thing I would want to change is I would want a black shaft in them. The black uh, club head, it looks really, really slick, and it's, it's really nice. But I would take a, uh, I would take a black shaft. But other than that, I'm also going to hit these, and we'll see how well they respond. Um, but yes, that's it. Um, I have a you know pretty generic Nike carry bag um, for my bag that I put everything in. It is to match everything. It is in <laughs> the bright bolt. So I may look at a new bag too, if uh, you know, if uh, if I get rid of some of these irons. But with that being said, sort of that's my that's my what's in the bag right now. Um, I am looking to change that up. We'll see sort of how much that changes uh, over you know the course of this year. Um, I'm delaying my trip to Golf Town until closer to the season, um, just to uh, just because of school and stuff be easier <laughs> but uh, but yeah so we'll I'll take you up when I do that we'll see I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely hit some of these clubs um, like the uh, the rogue and that I will hit those um, as much as I can in the meantime but that's my what's in the bag it uh, they could definitely use a bit of a cleaning I tried to clean them up a little bit for this but well, as you know, it's when you don't clean to take care of your clubs, the mud gets piled on pretty quickly. So that's my what's in the bag for 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed. I got a lot of videos coming out, some both some golf stuff and some fitness stuff um, coming out should be soon. So stay tuned for those. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button down below. It really helps me uh, and the channel grow. And if you're new here and you've enjoyed what you saw today hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try and be coming up with more content regularly. That's one of the things that I'd like to do this year is to, to find and make time for creating content and posting it um, instead of just uh, sort of whenever I get a chance every couple weeks. Try and work out an actual recording and then uploading schedule. But that's all I have for today. So hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next video.